Today, that stat man is looking at the EPH CP4i wiring setup and app use. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is that stat man reviews of smart technology. Starting today with the EPH CP4i RF thermostat connected to an internet app on your smartphone. All very clever stuff and we shall now go through setting it all up and using it, wiring, etc. Hopefully it's informative to you. Like and subscribe and please enjoy what's ahead. Here we have our board set up with our EPH CP4i. Battery powered thermostat, 240 volts receiver and a 240 volt gateway hub. The hub does not need to be plugged into any router via any network cable, just a power supply. So this can be placed anywhere within the house that has Wi-Fi signal range. Much better than trying to find an extra port on the back of your router and struggling to find an extra plug socket, etc. Before you begin to set up your hub, you need to download the app, which is as here, the Ember Smart Heating Control app, available on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store for your Androids. Um, once you have that, download, open. Right, once you've downloaded your app, set your details up, created your account, had your email verification code, you will get to this point here where you need to do your initial Wi-Fi setup. On the hub, press the Wi-Fi connection button here in for five seconds until the green light starts to flash and then we can go on with the Wi-Fi setup. Here you can choose if you're an installer to be an installer. It will provide your access to the home but will remove your access once the homeowner joins the home. The homeowner can install it themselves. I'm going to choose this option. Then we have to check which router we have. We have the GW3, so I'll select that. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi signal, so it's automatically populated the network in there. And then we just have to enter the password. You don't press continue until we set the hub up. Password is now entered. To set the hub, we should be pressing the Wi-Fi connection button in five seconds until you see the green light flash. At this point, it will ask you to join a hotspot, which you can then do. The hotspot is called EPH slash TS. So we join that. The banner comes up asking you to return. You can also just press the back arrow now you're connected with the hotspot, you press continue once more and it will ask you to confirm that this number here is the same as the number on the side of the hub. This is also self-populated. You'll notice now the green light has gone solid. Once that has gone solid, the continue button will turn orange and then you can continue just like that. Press continue, tick. And now you can get into home setup. You have to re-enter your name and your email and get your location for postcode, for the, basically for the weather information that shows up on the app. Um, then congratulations, you've set up your home. Um, you can either go for a tutorial or skip takes a little while for it to come in. Whilst that's happening, you'll notice the RF light here is not lit up. We need to have red, green and white lights on in order for this to communicate with all of it together. To do that, what we need to do is press this connect button here, like so. The two lights flash, and then we have to press the function button five seconds 
similar to the Wi-Fi button. The Wi-Fi goes out, the RF flashes. This will then communicate across and tell. There we go. And it's there. This will flash a couple of times and then go solid. Once that goes solid, everything's up and running. And we can then start using the app. There we go. RF, solid. So now this is connected to the internet. It's connected to the signal receiver. Connected to the thermostat. All we need to do now is just wait for the app to go through its system on the server end and add to the phone, which I've already, there it is now, it just appeared. Now zone one, you can rename these, you can edit them in the settings, but there we are, all ready to use. There are three modes on the app, off, manual and auto. We're currently on auto, so we'll start to run through what happens there. You can override with the plus and minus buttons here to create your target temperature. The temperature shown on screen is the current temperature, as you can see up on the thermostat, 25.6. The target temperature is 21, and also on the thermostat, 21. This app will take approximately two minutes to communicate and act on any instruction via the app. Um, so bear that in mind when you do change things, it's not instantaneous. Sometimes it can take up to two minutes. The program is accessed by simply pressing auto in the middle. This will show you your six programmed settings, the times they're set for and the temperatures they're set for from Monday through to Sunday. You can change each day individually. For instance, Monday morning, you don't wake up till nine o'clock. You can change that to half past eight. And you don't like it nice and hot, so you can turn that down. Saved. And then you'll notice that 6.30 on Tuesday is 8.30 on Monday. You can set these up every single day differently or you can copy every day to be the same or not Saturday and Sunday and set up Saturday and Sunday differently and apply those and then if we go back we should now see that every day is half eight instead of half six very simple to do very simple to program much easier to do it on the app than it is on the thermostat. However, you can still program the thermostat through its time zones using the program key here. And as you can see, 8.30, 20.5, 8.30, 20.5. Much easier to do on the app than it is to do on the thermostat. So I'm not gonna show you how to do it on the thermostat. That's auto pretty much sorted. Um, then we can go to manual. Now this is where you can set a temperature and it will stay at the temperature you set. So for instance, it's currently 20 degrees. 25.6 is the current room temperature. Tropical. Let's set to 28. And it will take two minutes, as I've said. It's currently 18.26 it's acknowledged by the spinning circle the thermostat's still going to show the original target temperature of 21 because it has not communicated yet with this the reason they do that is consider the fact that your heating might be turned off it's 20 degrees in the house you've got your target temperature set for 19 degrees and then somebody comes to the door and you open the door and all of a sudden that temperature drops down to 18, 18.5 and the heating's gonna come on. If you shut that door, you're not gonna realize it's gone through into 18.5 and the room will soon warm up again and your heating would not have come on just because you've opened the door. 
that is the only reason I can really see why it would be two minutes. As I say, most are five to ten seconds anyway. But I don't think it's that much of a hindrance waiting for the two minutes for that to happen. But there you go. Didn't take that long. Um, you will now notice target of 28 because it's all communicated and come on. This is now 28 target temperature because it's had a little chat. If we decide to turn that down, back to 21, it will obviously take another two minutes for that to happen. What I might do is fast forward this two minutes just so we can crack on. <laughs> And there we have it, straight off again. That was a lot quicker than the two minutes as well. So it's probably less than two minutes, but be prepared for two minutes. The basics of that is pretty much there. Self-explanatory. The other thing we do go through is, for instance, should the thermostat have no battery power. Now what happens here is, you find your batteries have gone dead. There's no power at the thermostat. And you want your heating to come on. No matter what you do with this app, you can turn it up, you can turn it down, you can turn it off. You play with that as much as you like. Nothing will happen via this app whilst there is no batteries in the thermostat. The only way you can turn the heating on now is to manually override everything via the receiver box. To do that, little tiny button on the left here, it says manual above it, press it once and your heating is on. No need for batteries, no need for the app. All you need is power to your boiler and this little box. If you're too hot and the heating's still on and you still haven't found any batteries to control via temperature. Again, press that button once more. Off she goes. And you can then go and find some nice fresh batteries. Once you've found your batteries, you can put them in. We'll go through a little setup process on the screen. Back to normal, 25.7. Once the batteries are back in, you don't have to rebond this. It's paired in the factory. So when it comes out of the box, you don't have to bind the signal with these two together whatsoever. The only thing you're binding is the hub and that once you set up the Wi-Fi. Very handy. No messing around, faffing around, trying to get connections everywhere. That pretty much covers the thermostat and the app. You can also, I'll just briefly go through this one here. You, on here, you have also got auto, manual, and off. Holiday mode, copy the days, boost. If you haven't got your phone, and all you are now is in your house, you can turn the temperature up by pressing up. Now you can either leave that flashing for a few seconds and it will automatically turn on the heating, like so. Or, if you wanted to, a little bit faster, just press the OK button to confirm it, and it will do it a little bit quicker. Again, if you can be bothered to drop that flap to do such a thing, up to you. One final thing to mention, as an installer, you can have your company details printed on this flap by just contacting your local area rep, or especially Mr. Lee Mumford, who is marvelous and will do everything he can to help you and make sure you get what you want for there. Handy for the customer when they just try and do something and nothing's working properly, your name and phone number down there might just jog their memory to give you a call for the repair. 
that basically sums up the app, the thermostat, the signal, the override, the setup, everything else. Please like and subscribe and share the new channel from That Statman. If you'd like to see a different product, a different manufacturer being reviewed, um, how to set it up, how to control it, and any other devices, please comment below and I shall do my best to see what we can do. I've enjoyed it. I hope you all have too. That's that man is now saying goodbye.